you like to make your ukulele rhythm more tight? Well, I'm glad you're here because in this short live stream video, I'm going to share with you some tips on how to make friends with this, the metronome. I know it looks like a cell phone. The metronome is your pathway to rhythmic freedom, offering you stability, a really solid pulse. The metronome, if you don't have one and if you're not practicing with it, you're missing out. In this brief live stream video, I'm gonna share some tips that I think will really help you grow as a rhythm player, whether you play ukulele, guitar, or anything. Appreciate you joining me. Let's jump right into what I have planned. Now, the metronome is at first something that many people don't like. And I can understand why. When we start to practice with a metronome, it can become really clear. Sometimes the metronome uh, doesn't feel like our friend at all because it becomes clear how unstable our rhythm is. But the metronome is really there to provide a steady pulse for you to learn to be more stable in your rhythm. And if we're just willing to give it a go, we will really, really grow. So glad you're here. We're gonna just touch on one of many, many, many things we could do with the metronome, many ways that we could practice with the metronome. Let me know in the chat where you're from, where you're watching from. So glad that you're here. We're gonna talk about subdivision. We're gonna work with a very slow pulse, this simple rhythm that is great for reggae and lots of other grooves. And we're gonna also practice some upbeat singles, upbeat doubles, then we'll pick up the speed. So, so glad you're here. Let's jump right into things. And by the way, this type of lesson, this type of lesson that teaches you musical skills as well as things that are, you know, fun to play on your ukulele, but to really develop our musicianship at the same time, that is what I'm going to be sharing in my upcoming uh, ukulele course all about rockabilly. It's more than just a course about rockabilly. It's about how to be a better musician. I'll share more about it later. There are links in the description below if you'd like to join me for that uh, special course that I'm really, really excited to launch this Sunday. All right, let's get started. Let me know in the chat, do you have a metronome? I have many. I like to use this cell phone app, uh, Tempo. Tempo costs a few bucks, but it's really worth it. But there are lots of free ones. Let's start with the pulse at a very slow speed, 60 beats a minute. And if you have a metronome, you can do this later on your own. For right now, I'll provide the metronome. Thanks for joining me, Terry, J Caps, and Planet Luzo. So glad you're here. So 60 beats a minute. The first thing to do, exercise one, is just listen to it. Go on, listen to it and start to tap your foot. Let the rhythm come to you. You know, just listen to it. Start to tap your foot, count with me. Ready? We'll count uh, a one, two, three, four. Come on, one, two, three, and four. Come on, one, two, three, four, and last time, two, three, four, and stop. Good. You can probably tell that what's happening is this is providing a very slow pulse and there's a lot of space inside of each beat, just 60 beats a minute. Now in that space, it's easy to get lost. So what we wanna do is subdivide, right? We wanna subdivide this into the eighth note and that would sound like this. Count with me, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four, hello Vancouver, and two, and three, and four, and a one, and two, and three, and four, and stop, awesome. So now let's just exercise this and be very patient with yourself. Training ourselves in rhythm is about getting the body in alignment with the mind, in alignment with the voice. I encourage you to really count and sing as loud as you can so it gets back to your brain through your ears, okay? We're gonna count 
eighth notes, quarter notes, and then eighth notes. Join in with me, tap your foot, let's have some fun. Two, three, here we go. We say one, two, three, four eighth notes. One and two and three and four again. One, two, three, four, and one and two and three and four. One more, one, two, three, four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and boom. We'll pause right there. Thank you for joining me. Il Italia is in the house. Hello, Paolo. Glad you're here. The UK is in the house. Scali09. So glad you're here. So this is just fundamental first exercises. We'll put it into some strumming in a moment, but it's really important that we first begin with just the body, just counting and being really clear with things. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to now combine tapping our feet and clapping. Now, at this very slow speed, and we're going to pick it up in a moment, but at this very, very slow speed, there's so much space. So what we'll do is we'll tap, clap, tap, clap, tap, clap, tap, clap, clap. So there'll be a single clap, okay? That's the upbeat single on the and of every beat. One and, two and, three and. And on beat four, we're gonna clap a double, okay? That would be counted for E and a. Uh. All right, let's try this out. Just have an experience with it. Better to have an experience and, um, and stumble than to not try. So thank you for trying. Appreciate you being here. If you're digging this so far, please give this video a thumbs up. Let's get into it. Here we go. 60 beats a minute. Okay, I'll demonstrate. One and two and three and four and up and two. Try to lock in. One and two and three and four and a one and two and three and four e and a one and two and three and four e and a one and two and three and four e and one more two boom awesome so your feet your hands they're all being activated this makes us feel very alive the act of stopping your foot actually is stimulating a lot of acupressure meridians on your soles of your feet clapping stimulates a lot of nerve endings on your hands it is an alivening thing okay if you combine this with some deep breathing and some smiling you've got a recipe for a really good time while you're making your rhythm solid now before we move on and strum and play a little tune and then pick up the speed, I just wanna let you know that the trick, and this is not something we just listen to once, it's a practice, but the trick is to really feel the arrival of each beat, especially beat one, and ask yourself in a non-judgmental way, am I rushing ahead of the beat? Am I dragging behind the beat? Just paying attention is a victory, okay? It's very easy for our minds to just leave the present moment, start to think about our projects, our plans. I do it all the time. Maybe you do too. When we stay anchored in the present moment, we are more effective, and rhythm is a really amazing gateway into that state of Presence, getting in the zone. Come on, let's do it together. Tap your foot to the beat. Okay, start with your foot. One, two, three, four. And now we're going to add those upbeat singles and doubles. Goes like this. One, and two, and three, and four. A double, single. In my mind, I'm hearing reggae. One, and two, and three. And don't worry about a thing Cause every little thing gonna be alright Hey Bob Euchre, glad you're here Don't worry about a thing 
and 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 oh, cause every little thing is gonna be all right. Keep going with me. Foot tap, foot, <laughs> foot clap, foot clap, foot clap, foot double. Single, 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 a double. Single, single, a single, double. Boom. What's gonna happen as you train yourself in rhythm, just like an athlete trains, you're going to be solid on feeling the arrival of the beat. We have to really listen to our metronome and make friends with it, okay? Now, the metronome can be, you can practice with it in many, many, many ways. I'm sharing just one of many grooves. I think this is going to be fun because it's a nice reggae groove. Now, what I'm playing there is one and, two and, three and, four E and, ah, okay? So we're clapping on the ands, and we're clapping on and up. Okay, that's the double. Just one groove you can work with. Would you like to turn up the speed? Come on, let's work it out. Thank you for joining me. Be sure to check the links in the description down below if you'd like to join me for my Rockabilly for Ukulele course. It's premiering this Sunday, but if you miss the premiere, no sweat. You can catch it anytime at the link down below. There are jam tracks. Uh, there's a whole PDF book. Just like this lesson, it's not just a bunch of tricks and tips. We're going to be playing songs. We're going to be learning new skills and really developing our overall musicianship. So please check the links down below if you want to be part of that class. Thank you for joining me. We're going to turn it up to 80, okay? Now there's less space. So the subdivision, a little different. Same game, okay? Start by feeling it. Count with me. One, two, three, four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and up, and two, and three, and four, and up, and a two, and three, and and up, and and two, and four, and up. Work it out with me. Try to make your clapping light if you can. Hello, Denmark in the house, Germany in the house, Vienna in the house. So glad to have some friends from Europe in the house. Can you hear my foot on the floor? Foot tap. One and two and three and four and up one and a two and a three. And up, and up, all that about that subdivision, right? When you're subdividing, boom. When you subdivide, it makes it so the space in between each beat is filled and we don't lose our place in the next beat. But me saying this is not going to change much. I may be sharing some helpful information, but really what makes the change is you hanging with this and hanging it, hanging with it in a way that feels fun. So look, next time you're taking a walk, maybe later today, walking to get your mail or something or whatever you're doing, walk to a ready, steady rhythm. Your feet are the downbeats. One, two, and then when your foot comes up, clap lightly. And if you do this just for 30 seconds. Wow, what training you have across the body. It can be really fun, especially when you add a little bit of singing to it. Okay? Body percussion, powerful gateway into really developing your rhythm on the instrument, which we're going to get into right now. was the transition music. Did you enjoy it? <laughs> Thanks for having some fun with me. We're going to go for just a little while longer in this short live stream lesson. So glad you're here. If you're enjoying this lesson and getting some value out of it, please give this video a thumbs up. 
subscribe to the channel Ukulele Zen and do check out the links down below. I have a new course all about rockabilly music, but as I shared before, it's going to be about so much more than just rock and roll. It's going to be about developing our overall musicianship using four great tunes in the rockabilly style to really develop our skills. Check the links down below if you'd like to join me, and thank you. All right, friends. So, you walk down the street, your feet are the downbeat, your hands are the upbeat, and in time, just by paying attention to what you're doing, your hands will develop a fluidity, right? A little flexibility in the wrist. At first, our clapping is maybe a little stiff, a little wooden. Don't beat yourself up about that at all. We're just describing this tendency that's very natural of trying very hard, right? As we get more comfortable with the thing that we're trying to do, it starts to loosen up. It becomes more natural. And the reason why I'm bringing up the wrist is that when we strum, we want very, very loose wrists. In the Rockabilly course that I mentioned, links down below, there's going to be all kinds of exercises for loosening up the wrist. I think you're going to dig it. Now let's go back to 60 beats a minute and play a little tune. Okay, do you have your ukulele ready? If not, pause the video and join me. Okay, check it out. I'm doing I'm not playing on the beat the beat is the click and by the way my imagination is hearing in this click a whole band so we want to you know use our power of imagination to really make this more fun as well so that's where our foot is tapping. It can take a while to develop this, but in between each click, we can start to place those upbeat singles. Let's try this right now. Take your open strings, strum up, shut them off by touching. Let's do that again just to get comfortable with the motion. Up, shut them off by touching with this hand, right? Now let's do it in a regular rhythm before we even turn on the metronome. Let's just tap our foot. One, two, three. When the foot comes up, our hand comes up. When our foot goes down, we shut off the strings. Thank you for joining, Lori, Stephen. Did you hear that? That is a great exercise and you could jot that down and practice that for seven days in a row. You will be a master of it. You will. Now, as we tap the foot, we shut the sound off. Now we did it with an up strum there. How about we try it with a down strum? Same exact game, except our motion of strumming is gonna be downward towards the floor, okay? Let's put on the metronome this time. In between each beat, we're going to strum down, shut off the sound on the click. Watch me first. Here I go. We're just using the open strings for now to make it easy. And doubles. Get the idea? Are you trying with me? Cool. Let's do it together. You can eventually get really, um, you know, curious about making the sounds even shorter, right? You clip them a little shorter. But we're still in time. Let's do this together. And we're going to level this up right away. Let's use our C chord. And when you want to mute it, just... I don't know, just find a way to shut the sound off. You lift the pressure off, touch.
touch the strings. Okay, and we'll play Bob Marley's Three Little Birds. Just the chorus of it, okay? Those chords we need are C, practice shutting it off. And then we need the F, practice shutting it off. Okay, F, practice shutting it off. So this is one of the last things we're going to be sharing in this live stream lesson. Could everybody just take their hands off their ukulele, tell me where you are in the chat. Thank you for watching. And take your hands off your ukulele so you could also listen to me demonstrate. Okay? Here I go. Three. Yeah. Don't worry about a thing. Because every little thing is going to be all right. Join in about a thing. Cause every little thing is gonna be alright. Single, 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 a double, single, single, a single, a double, a single, single, a single, a double, foot, foot. It's a full body experience, I know. Don't click away. I'm going to give you a good tip in a moment. Here comes an F. Of every little thing is going to be all right. Mm. All right, friends. Now, if you're still watching, that's awesome. It means that you are really um, determined to make your rhythm playing more stable. The metronome, like I said at the beginning of this live stream, can really push our buttons. It can make us feel more stumbly and nothing feels more awkward than playing with a metronome sometimes when we're not used to it. But once we get used to it, once we get used to the practice and we start to get some results from it, you can get hooked on it. You can really get hooked on how the metronome helps us be stable and steady in our groove and our rhythm. Now, as you play, foot, hand, foot, hand, foot, hand, foot, down, up, single, 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 a dub. All right. Keep it fluid and light, which is what is what we were practicing when we were clapping. my hand very fluid very loose all right we bring that loose feeling to the instrument it takes time but if you're patient drop by drop your bucket gets filled so when this video is over I encourage you to just before you watch another video hopefully one of mine at the channel I think you'll find them helpful but before you even put on another video you can use your metronome or just use your foot and try this coordination exercise out for yourself. Takes time, be patient. Foot, strum, foot, strum, foot. The foot comes up, we strum. And you can create lots of different patterns. You could play single, double, single, a double, single, a double, single, double. Maybe your pattern is all doubles. Double, a double, a double, a double. Right? It could be all kinds of different ways of locking in different patterns that fit in with the metronome. Rob, so glad you're here. Al, thank you for joining. Um, I'm so glad you're here, Melanie. Thank you for joining. Appreciate you being here. Um, so. Let's jam one more time. Thank you so much for watching these live streams. I normally uh, offer them the first Sunday of the month here at the channel Ukulele Zen. If you're getting some value out of this, please check out the other videos at the channel page. I think you'll like them. Click subscribe and do share this video with your friends. And as I mentioned before, the course in the links down below is going to be a, a really fun time while we develop our skills of 
picking, of strumming, of rhythm, of finger picking. While we play great rock and roll songs, you're going to learn a lot about being a better and better musician. Patience is the key. Drop by drop, your bucket does get filled. All right, friends, thank you for joining me. Tap your foot, 60 beats a minute. Let's try it. One, two, a one, two, a three. Don't worry about a thing. My guns are every little thing. It's gonna be all right. Singing, don't worry about a thing. Stay in time with the metronome. Every little thing is gonna be alright. And at this slow speed, hey, hats off to you. Thank you for joining in. At this slow speed of just 60 beats a minute, you could also mute with your strumming hand. See if you can bring your mute together with your foot. Mute. Really exaggerating the motion right there. Okay. And if you like, use up strums as well. So, lots more to share about the metronome, especially in future lessons. So that was just a little bit of jamming on a jazz progression with the metronome at 110 beats a minute. I hope you enjoyed this video and that it serves you well and hopefully inspires you to spend some time with the metronome, just getting ourselves really stable with a steady pulse and then beginning to subdivide and play our rhythms in time with that, okay? It takes time, it takes patience, and a real willingness to keep showing up. But chances are, if you're watching this, you're already, you've already, um, you've already uh, eaten the red pill, so to speak, right? You've already gone down the, the music rabbit hole deep enough to know you want to keep going. So thank you for joining me and exploring. Check the links down below if you'd like to join me for that course. Appreciate you being here so much and wishing you good health and a very, very happy day. Thanks, happy jamming.